But who loves to rock? Bunnies and squirrels. They're going around and around and around. Touch it. Yeah, around and around. Touch this one. He's hopping. Hop, hop, hop. Baby. I love being Bunnies. a grandma. It makes me feel young, and, and I am. I'm a grandma, and I'm a mom, and I'm just taking it one step at a time. Melinda is raising her grandson because his father, at 19, has a life too complicated to include being a parent. Melinda spent years navigating the juvenile justice system with her son. I think his first offense came about 14. So um, we were dealing with drugs, we're dealing with theft, we're dealing with all kinds of really, really grown up things. And this is a kid who's trying to find his way. Like many parents who find themselves in juvenile court, Melinda was frightened and confused. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to talk to. I sat there and waited for the attorney to come, and oh my goodness, I didn't know if I could talk to the attorneys. I didn't know if I could talk to anybody about whatever because it's still his case. It's private matters. It's a lot of unknown, and I think the unknown is what made it so terrifying. Although defense attorneys work directly with the child they're representing, it's essential for parents to be involved in the court process also. And King County has a program to help make that easier. It's called Juvenile Justice 101. And it's all about giving parents key information to help their children. Hello everyone, my name is James. I'm a family partner with Juvenile Justice 101. First of all, I would we know from research that parents are one of the main sources that kids look to to find out about the court. And so if parents have misinformation or don't know what's going on, it's actually a huge risk um, for them the youth program, getting misinformed so about the court. Juvenile Justice 101 was developed through a partnership between the University of Washington and King County Juvenile Court. It includes presentations in the lobby of the juvenile courthouse, resource information, and family partners who are available to speak to other parents one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone who works for Juvenile Justice 101 has been through the justice system with their own children. And so all of our family partners know what that feels like and we can sit down with the family and say, you know, I've sat in those chairs. I've cried those tears. I know firsthand how that feels. Juvenile Justice 101 created a resource booklet for families. It explains the court process and the roles of court personnel, defines words used at court, provides resource information, and lists important phone numbers. So no matter how, where I was, what I needed to do, that one booklet became everything I needed. When parents learn how to become involved, everyone benefits. For one thing, they help make sure kids show up for hearings. They also, in the beginning court process, provide a lot of information to the judge or the probation counselor kind of about um, what kind of makes this kid tick and what their needs are and that can be, and also whether they feel safe with the kid coming home. We are uh, empowering those parents, so with information, with processes, and with opportunities for them to engage, for them to have a voice at the table, uh, as well as, of course, the youth having a voice there. Have you guys started talking about the next steps and how we're going to reach out to the Somali community? King County Juvenile Court, UW researchers, and the Juvenile Justice 101 team are making plans for community outreach, starting with Somali and Latino community groups. Eventually, the program will be replicated in other parts of Washington. Because it shows to be both a promising practice and actually, I think, as we look at the concept of family engagement, uh, family engagement, my belief, is being critical to not only success in the juvenile justice system, but success in life. Fish. Fish eyes. Parents need help and support. That's what they need and that's what they were given. And I think it's groundbreakingly tremendous. All done. All done? Okay. What do you want to see next?